Good morning, children. Welcome to the EBS class. Children, in the previous class, you have studied chapter number thirteen, transport, and in this chapter, you have studied about different means of transport. What are the advantages and disadvantages of different means of transport? Some important facts you have also studied. But today, we'll continue about communication. Okay. First of all, we should know what is communication. Okay, what is communication? Children, sharing of ideas, feelings, and thoughts with another person is called communication. Okay. Now the question arises: What is the need of communication? Why why we need communication? Okay, tell me one thing. If there is any function at your home and you want to invite your friends, how will you invite? How will you tell if they are far from you? Then what will you do? You will make a call to invite them. Am I right? So you will make a call to invite them to tell them that there is a function at your home to for the invitation. for telling the things for communicating for telling ideas thoughts okay so this is the need of communication that's why we need communication to share our feelings now the question arises in the ancient time do you know how people communicate people communicate by beating drum and smoke signals okay how do they communicate in ancient time by beating drums and smoke signals and one more thing was there in olden time they also used flags for communication still flags are used in railways for train signal to start the train okay you might have seen a guard on the railway station in train he gives signals with the flag after that the train start so in ancient time people used smoke signals and beating of drum for communication okay but in nowadays in modern time means of communication are different okay children now we will study what are the modern means of communication at this time which type of means of communication we use okay as you know that post office is the most common and cheapest mode of communication okay from the post office letters are sent and received okay and post office revolutionized the art of letter writing means revolutionized means children improvement there is an improvement of right letter writing because of post office so post office revolutionized the art of letter writing also and post office is the cheapest and common mode of communication clear and children in the ancient time letters were sent by the peasants but it was not reliable okay and now we will study another modern means of communication and that is telephone we can talk to a people who is sitting over a long distance to us okay so telephone make our life make the communication very simpler and easier okay we can send the sms also through the phone and what is the full form of sms short message service okay what is the full form of sms short message service okay so it is easier to communicate to tell our feelings to tell something by the telephone okay fax machines are also helping in sending duplicate copy of handwritten or printed material on time okay as you all know that i always say in fact related to the chapter to now i will discuss the important fact about telephone okay do you know who invented telephone 
who made our life easier and simpler okay other tell me who invented telephone children telephone was invented by alexander graham bell okay telephone was in, invented by alexander graham bell okay now we'll discuss who invented mobile phone children martin cooper invented the mobile phone in 1973 okay is it clear to you all now rest of the chapter i will explain you in the next class till then stay home stay safe bye bye